Maserati's most powerful SUV ever is here. Done in black, 103 being made globally. This is the Nero Absoluto 2024 Levante V8 Ultima. And with the Ferrari derived engine, this is it for Maserati. Let's take a look and see what all the hype is about. What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I promise and I'm delivering. I told you guys when we filmed the first 2024 Maserati Levante V8 Ultima in Blue Royale, one of 103 might I add, I said that we had number two of 103 and it's behind me here today. A 2024 V8 Ultima in Nero Absoluto, the last Ferrari V8s in a Maserati Levante and another one out of the 103 globally being made is behind me here today at Maserati of Daytona Beach. So with that said, guys, let's take a look at what this black one has to offer and see if you like it better over the Blue Royale or would you rather take Nero Absoluto? Now, when you talk about wheelbase for the Levante V8 Ultima, you're looking at 118.2 in inches. And then for your length is 197.6 inches. And for your width, you're looking at 77.4 inches with your height at 66.9 inches. Now this, my friends, this is what all the fuss is about. Keep in mind, this is a 5,000 70 pound vehicle and with this twin turbo ferrari derived v8 engine we're pumping out a zero to 60 time in 3.8 seconds because of the 580 horsepower and the 538 pound feet of torque with the eight speed zf transmission and all-wheel drive one of the best engines to ever be in a maserati model really i mean we had the naturally aspirated V8s, which was top of the line for Maserati. And then we had the twin turbo V8s for 550 horsepower. And then we had these V8s at 580 horsepower. And by God, this is the best looking out of the three of them. And second best when it comes to sound. And it's just, it's gonna be tough to not be able to lay eyes on this again, unless we get a pre-owned model around and then again it would even look this great obviously in this best shape because it's pre-owned this is brand new from the factory looks as good as it's gonna look in a maserati you guys can agree to disagree but i definitely think this is the best looking i definitely think it's second best in sounding and is one of the greatest engines put in a maserati let alone one of the best v8s that are on the market and i'm gonna let it speak for itself and give it that classic Maserati music that we will never forget. Now this is it, you guys. And again, I'm, I'm bragging about this one. There's 103 globally, I think. Um, how many are coming to the States? I'm not exactly sure for the Levante. I think there was only like 20 Ghiblis. We already have one of the Ghiblis. And we've already had one of the Levantes on the channel. And now we got the second Levante on the channel. That's right. You have a 334 Ultima Ghibli here and two V8 Ultima Levantes. Both of the limited series run and the final, the last V8 in a Maserati model are here at the Daytona dealership. So it's crazy to have these here in front of us today. Now, for the V8 Ultima, all right, it's basically what you see from like a Trofeo standpoint of the Maserati models. But... It has the Ultima Flare. You can see that interior, you can see the badging. So we'll get to it right now. Now, up front, again, very, I wanna say Levante Trofeo-ish. I'm gonna always revert back to that because that was the top trim spec before you got to these. So you have this beautiful Nero Absoluto paint, which just glimmers in the sun. I don't even know the camera's picking it up as well as it should, but look at that. Then you have the Maserati emblem there, the insignia there. You have the nostrils on the hood right away letting you know that you're extracting some of the heat from that uh far i derived v8 engine all right twin turbo now coming along to the front you will see the big maserati script there lets you know level 2 adas vertical slats feed through right here all right letting that air go through and then the grill surround is done in black gloss black all the way around all right normally this is even in the dark chrome we'll talk about that when we get to the rear of the car too but it's done completely 
blackout flavor for this model, which is a black on black demon here. All right, then the front lip, carbon fiber lip going across the front, honeycomb grill to go with that, give it more aggressiveness. And then you come to the side profile and you'll see that same honeycomb grill carried over with carbon fiber vertical blades. This just looks so, so evil. Then you talk about the black surround on the fog lamps and the full matrix LED headlamps with the dark surround finish. Maserati script there. The three kind of like porthole design there in the lighting. Full LEDs we'll see completely illuminated in just a moment. But take a look at that, guys. It doesn't get any more sinister than that. Now this thing is murdered out. And you can tell from the side profile, this just hits different. I mean, come on. 22 inch staggered painted Orione wheels. Look at that. Done in gloss black. This looks crazy. And you have the Maserati script there as well on the Brembo brake calipers. Sport contact six tires for the Continentals. Insane. Then we talk about the wheel wells because they're painted in the same Nero Absoluto paint. Then you have the portholes done in gloss black, functional portholes from Maserati. But let's not, let's not forget, I mean, the V8 Ultima Bash just casually painted on the front fender, painted. That's how much Maserati stands behind this name that they didn't even put an emblem on it. They painted it into the car itself, into the bodywork. Insane. Gloss black mirror caps, gloss black window moldings to match. Since this thing is tinted out, it looks so cool. And then you have in the B pillar, the Ma Maserati Italian flag. I won't say Maserati Italian, the Italian flag. And then the body color door handles to go along with. But we're not done because we have a big carbon fiber side skirt right here as well to give it that aggressiveness. Cause you know, based off of the Trofeo models, you would get always the best when it comes to Maserati body paneling. And that's the same here. The roof, if I can jump up here, <laughs> is in glass because we have the panel roof and then we have the uh, Volcano Black, or sorry, Volcano Black, the Nero Absoluto uh, shark fin antenna there. So yeah, this side profile is something dangerous. I love the way that this thing looks. Now, when you look at this thing from the rear, it looks like a regular Maserati Levante, right? I mean, obviously the paint looks gorgeous. Reminds you a lot of the um, Alfro Male Volcano Black Metallic with the same flakes. I mean, could be close, but the clear tail lamps, boomerang tails look good. The Maserati script looks good, but you'll notice that this is blacked out on the rear. Yeah, normally, normally this is in a chrome or even a dark chrome like this color, but this is blacked out. This going all the way across, which it makes it pretty much disappear in this paint. You wouldn't even probably be able to tell it was there. You guys probably didn't even notice. And then you have that dark chrome for the Levante badging as well. And then underneath is where you can tell this is a little something special, all right? Because we got a completely carbon fiber rear diffuser here going across, all right? Going around the dual black exhaust tips on each side, which makes it quad exhaust. And then the honeycomb grill for extra cooling. But then down the center here, you'll see that we have done in the same Nero Absoluto paint right here in the diffuser. So again, it looks normal from the back, you know, when you're looking from this angle. But then when you know all the small details about this thing, you can tell that this is something quite special. Now, per usual, got to open up the trunk, but we do have the kick sensor on the way out. You guys can see that pops right open. And then we have the 60-40 split, center feed through, privacy shade. Our accessories here, that's going to be in the sticker price. I'll show you guys that we have the breakdown there. So we have our Maserati Trident mat. You see the trident there up top. And then we have our floor mats here, 12 volts, extra stowage here, hold everything in, our close and close and lock button. All right. And then underneath the practical Maserati cargo that I like to always show off, you know, because it's just a flex to be able to do that with one hand, hold everything up, have a false floor with extra stowage. And then with one hand, lift up this false floor and see the spare tire, the tire inflate kit, the jack, and also the tools that you need with the spare battery. Not spare battery. You don't have a spare battery, but your battery in the back. But again, always like to show off the rear of the Levante because it's really practical and one of the best in the game. And when you're talking about fuel economy for a Ferrari Divide V8, well, you're talking about 16, 13, 20. Obviously, it's gonna be quite, kind of low there, right? So 16 combined city and highway, 13 city, 20 highway for your miles per gallon. And obviously 
The gasolina here is done in premium. Only put premium in these cars. Obviously, guys, you gotta give it the good juice to drink. Now, I wanna show you guys how the Ultima illuminates because you can see the full LED headlamps, you can see the switchback LEDs, and you can see the fog lamps as well. Check it all out together to see that beautiful light show. Also, the three accent pieces on the side because Maserati, right? And then in the mirror cap, amber in the mirror cap, as you guys can see for the blinkers, or turn indicators. And then the boomerang tails in the back look very evil with this black speck and carbon fiber. That is beautiful. So let's hop in the driver's seat of Maserati's most powerful SUV ever. So you guys can see that we have dual pane windows here. We also have the no pringe or so no pringe, no hinge preset. So we can open this up to wherever we would like. We have a B pillar that's fixed and we know that we have the um, Italian flag there on the B pillar as well. So the Italian colors. And then before we get in, soft closed doors, you gotta flex those, right? <laughs> now let's open her up because we know that the door paneling kind of gives us, in most cases, the overall spec of the car, but not in the case of this. You can see Nero leather, you can see the stitching, you can see the gloss carbon fiber there and aluminum door handle. All great stuff with the Bellers and Wilkins sound system. But everything else, well, it's not going to be the same because terracotta interior and Nero leather. That is your highlight of this interior. Now, we'll get to that in just a second because that is beautiful. But we have the aluminum pedals there and the aluminum side sill. I mean, all great stuff from Maserati, but this is... This is where it's at right here. So let's hop in this thing and talk about the stitching, the V8 Ultima badging, the natural drill leather perforated here, heated and cooled, all that great stuff. Let's talk about that. Now we hop inside and we are in a very familiar spot when it comes to Maserati models because we know this very well. This has been the same since 2017. Um, but a couple of small changes since then when the Levante came out. But this is the old platform, which is why this is called the Ultima, because it's the last of this old platform before we see a redesign of the Levante. So you definitely can tell its age from the interior, but it's still got all the best that Maserati has offered for the Levante, plus more like the terracotta leather here. I mean, that is beautiful. But really where the heart of this thing is, is the sound. So let's start her up. Let's... Turn on the accessories, run right on the window so we can get that sound. Let's put it in sport mode, put on the brake, and then, oh, that rumble. We're gonna miss it. This is why we're in here because it's the last of the last. Now I'm gonna go over this very briefly because this is everything you guys have seen before. Now with the Ultima, obviously you get the RPMs revving up to seven. You get the 230 on the dash. We know it goes 187. Um, that's the biggest thing with the Ultima. You still have the analog gauges and the TFT screen that you're used to for these Maserati models um, dating back. Then you also have the color mounted power shifters. You have your driver assistance controls, menu controls with hands-free. You have your radio controls on the back as well. The round steering wheel here with the perforated leather as well. Maserati insignia in the middle, all that great stuff. You also have Maserati's Uconnect 5 or MIA system is what they call it, Maserati Intelligent Assistant. All right, so we know this very well for the multimedia. Again, Uconnect 5, it's been out for a while. Analog clock, which is very beautiful. You also have your leather dash, all leather all throughout, stitching as well. Carbon fiber and gloss with the aluminum trim. And then the glove box here. All right, big glove box. And then the center console here done in complete gloss carbon. Dual zone HVAC, little stowage here for USB 2.0, aux and SD card reader. And then we have our two track system for our HBZF where we can do manual shifting from here or use the patties. Um, you also have your cup holders hidden underneath here as well. And then you have your radio controls, quick controls if you don't wanna use the touch screen. We can adjust the suspension by raising it up and down here. We also have our electric parking brake, traction off button, off road, raise the car up, ice mode, most increased uh, efficiency when it comes to the fuel economy, saving on fuel. Sport mode, obviously, gonna give you some more throttle response, open up those valves, hold it down, and you get course in mode, automatically softening those dampers and turning off your traction and driver assistance, giving you the best that this has to offer with, with some 
power. Now, with that said, we know all about that, right? Again, I just wanted to go over it quickly. Alcantara pillars, the Bowers and Wilkins sound system inside of here, big panel roof. This is a great place to be. And again, it's the last that we'll see it like this. So this is the best way to see it in this last iteration. Now, one thing I didn't want to forget, you do have a V8 Ultima badge, like you know, number one, 103. So obviously they're not individually numbered, but there's 103 of these total. And this is one of them you're seeing here. And this is our second one on the channel. Now the back seat is looking just as good as the front. We're gonna hop in, but before we do, let's check out the soft closed doors, as you can see there. Also, dual pane windows like the front, no hinge preset like the front. So again, we can open these to wherever we want. We also have a rear sunshade right here in the windows. Looks really cool. Then we have all of our Nero leather, our Nero leather, and we also have our glossy carbon right here in the back to go with the aluminum trim, to go with the Bowers & Wilkins sound system with the speakers there. And then we have our heated seating right here. Then before we get in, we have our side sill illuminated there. And then the terracotta interior, same setup, stitching right here in the headrest as well. Terracotta in black all throughout, it looks so cool. And then we have the Alcantara headliner with the panel roof, letting in a lot of natural light. Yeah, this is a good place to be, guys, because you get to experience this interior in the rear as you do up front. Now, my seat was kind of far back, and you can kind of tell here because kind of touching the back here. Um, you also have your netting here, pressure stowage, and then USB 2.0s there with the lighter. And then in the center, cup holders, all right? So it's a great place to be. I mean, you got all the nicest materials back here. You got heated seats. You're good to go. But yeah, um, I wanna be in the driver's seat. So for the 2024 V8 Ultima, there's only one option on this Nero Absoluto and Terracotta and Black spec. We start live at $188,000 flat. And for the final Ferrari V8 in a Levante, you're looking at $189,885, but that's after the destination charges of $1,195 and the preparation and delivery of $300. So what's that one option? to give it the price, well, $390 on the accessory kit, which is Levante accessories, luggage, luggage compartment mat, the lug, uh, Levante shade, the first aid roadside kit, and the umbrella. That's it. Everything else you see comes standard on this model because it's such a special edition, such a, I don't wanna say legend when it comes to the Maserati models, when it comes to V8s. Well, Ultima means the last. So this is the last time you're gonna see this setup in a Levante and the last time you're gonna hear that V8 roar and wow does does this thing come loaded up I mean guys you know I want to say that if I could I would because I say that for everything but this one definitely a hundred percent I could I would guys so at just under a hundred and ninety thousand dollars for Maserati history what do you guys think about the V8 Ultima behind me here today? Do you like it better in black? Do you enjoy Neo Absoluto over Blue Royale? I know Blue Royale is a little bit more flashy, but with a black car and terracotta interior, what are you guys thinking about the V8 Ultima here today? Drop those comments down below because again, we have two of them and I don't know if I'm gonna see many more because again, there's only 103 globally. So this might be the last V8 Levante that we see on the channel for good. So. Drop those comments down below. What are you guys thinking? If you guys want to help further support the channel, check the links in the description. Get to the website if you guys want to buy this. Make sure you guys check out the merch. Subscribe, click the notification bell. And with that said, we will see you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.